Hello, beautiful souls out there. This is Dr. Destiny. I am back with a word. I mean, I got a word. Now, if you want to hear this message, you need to come in and sit down because this is going to this going to hit where it hurts at most. <laughs> I got a word, people. I, I mean, I really do have a word. Tonight, I am here to talk about power of thoughts. Well, Dr. Destin, how the hell do you make that up? Did I? Let me see. Uh, let me check it out. Hold on. Did I make this up? Uh, I'm checking my notes. No, I don't think so. Oh, no, I didn't make it up. There are power because the power says there is life and death in the power of the tongue. So, I bet, I, I bet um, you probably never heard that scripture either, right? People, let me tell you this. This message was true and has been true for a long time. By going around watching people interact with one another, just watching people just talking, basically just talking, ramble, ram rambling and rambling, just, out of the, just right out of their mouth. They just talk. And now I'm telling you, I used to be one of those people. So I'm not putting down people. I was one of those negative people. I was one of those people that talk a lot of smack and did nothing about it. I was one of those people that talk a lot of jump. I was one of those people that will speak up negative things and just say things out of my mouth. Never giving a thought to what that word means. Or what those words I have put out there in the universe. I was one of those people. That was me. People, I'm going to tell you, that was me. I used to live on Negative Street. I used to live on Negative <laughs> Boulevard. I used to live on, the, on those, ne those avenues. I was, it was me, <laughs> too. But anyway, on a more serious note, I want to talk to you tonight. And I want to talk to you about the power of words. So come on in, welcome, everyone. And this is Dr. Destiny. I am a holistic health and nutrition coach. I am a health practitioner. I talk about the whole man, which is the mind, soul, and body. And I teach, and I am a doctor that teaches and helps my clients to live a wholesome and healthy lifestyle. And I said, living that wholesome, healthy lifestyle has to start in the mind of people. So, the power of words. This is a deep one because, you know, a lot of times myself. Now, I, like I said, I've been on that avenue. I live on those streets. I live in that boulevard. I was one of those people. I was one of those people for many, 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 many years. See a lot of junk come up my mouth. Just like a lot of other people, you know. Just speak words out of their mouth. Don't know what in the world they're saying. They just get up tight, frustrated, angry, or just want to play like they the big bad wolf or the bully. And just, shoo, they don't think about what comes out of their mouth, the words they say. A lot of those negative self-talk that, that these people are having, and I was one of them. Don't, I'm not excluding me. I was one of them. People, words have power. Words have power, people. So you better check your words. And like I said, a long time, I didn't check my words. Like a lot of people we walk around, you know, and talk a lot of junk, and I don't care when they get angry, or they get frustrated, or they just just <laughs> get heated in a moment. Every ugly, negative thing just flows out of their mouth, and I don't think they realize all the negativity that they are sending out into the universe. And people are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to kick some butt now. Or I'm going to lay down my religion, you know. Or I'm going to take care of this. <laughs> lay down your religion, people. And I'm going to tell you, lay it down. And you're going to be a dead downer. I'm going to tell you, you got to watch what you're saying. And, and I'm just sharing this with you because I was one of those people. I was one of those people that quit to get angry. I was one of those people that want to go out and fight and kick some butt too. I was one of those people that 
had all these ideals, but then when it comes to making those ideals become a reality, I became negative. I, sh I, I shied away and I pulled back. I was one of those people. Talk a lot of smack and said a lot of things and just never getting anything done. And every time my time turned around, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to kick somebody's butt. I'm ready to do this and that and that. I'm still speaking these negative words out into the universe. I was hurting myself. Not much, I mean, not alone hurting other people. I was hurting myself. People, it took me many, I'll say it again. I think y'all got me. Many, many, many years to get to the place I am today. And a whole lot of dying of myself that I had to put down into the ground. Literally speaking, I had to let go of myself. So I can live in the way that he had created me to be the most high, the creator of this universe. The creator God. Talking all that smack, I talk. But thank God that I am still here. That I am still alive today. That I can be a testimony to somebody else. That I can share my story. That I can share my experiences. I can talk about me. I can tell you, y'all, I was a junk talker. And I was negative. You don't probably believe that. Dr. Jesse, you're so positive today. Yeah, it took me a lot of dying of myself. So I may live to be where I am in this position today. And sometimes we got to give up some things, people, to get to where we need to be. Oh, anyway, let's talk. And I'm going to talk with some notes. And I didn't mean to stay here this long. So the way to get yourself free. The way to get yourself over the hurdles of life that has been boxing you in or has been caging you in, has been holding you back, is put a guard over your mouth. Because that tongue, that little tongue is small, but it is powerful, people. So the Bible says this, let this mind be in you, which was also in the divine higher power. God himself, let this mind. You got to have the mind of Christ. And when you're angry, and when you're frustrated, when you just, just get heated up in a moment, I mean, just, mm, you don't think about what word is going to come out of your mouth and how it's going to come out. And you don't think, all you want to do is, I got to get it out. I've got to show them my I got to show them I ain't scared. I got to show them how bad I am. You know, th 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 <laughs> I'm laughing because that was me, people. That was me. I was one of those people. Me. <laughs> many, many, many years. I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. It was not until I truly found my purpose and I found my destiny and I learned who I truly was and I gave up me so that he could live my life through the purpose and plan that he already created. I don't know if you understand what I just said. That might be deep for y'all. I had to die. Like the Bible said, we got to die daily. I had to die. I had to start denying self and start trying to do all those things to please self. And I had to just let go. Let go of those things that no longer serve me. Let go of those things that was holding me back. That was boxing me in. That was keeping me from reaching my next destination. Keeping me from reaching my greater, higher self. Keeping me out of the plans that the Creator has planned for me. Because that little negative tongue would just shoot out. <laughs> and those negative thoughts. Those negative behaviors, all that negative vibe and that negative energy that we allow to play in the light. It was me. It was me. I'm going to tell you, I was one of those people. But I thank you, the whole mighty creator of this universe, that I learned to let go. And I learned to let God have his way in my life. And he created me a clean heart and he knew his right spirit within me. 
And I gave up that old man, that old self, that, that old way of thinking, that old way of doing things, those old thoughts that I used to have. And I just gave it all up. So now, many times I failed when I thought I was in that direction of giving it up. And I was like, okay, I saw myself making progress. But then again, I got to that place I couldn't go through because I have not given it all up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I have not given it all up. So I found myself still making mistakes. You got to let go. And let go means just not just throwing it all in a towel. That means you got to put God in the driver's seat. Put him in the equation. Put him in the place that he is. He is the, he is the leader. He's the guy. He will direct your path. But you got to get out of the way sometimes so he can make the path for you can walk through it, people. Oh, man. Oh. I mean, I was just talking to myself. Uh, let me get into this video. Let me get into this video. I got some notes here because I posted and read these notes off to you guys. So I'm going to talk about these notes. And like I say, when I get up here, guys, the light is bright and shining. That's okay. Okay, here I am. I don't talk for 11 minutes, just running my mouth. Your words have power, people. And that's what I'm going to talk about. That the Bible says, there's life and death in the power of the tongue. People, listen, words have energy and words have power with the ability, listen, to help to heal, to hinder, to harm, to hurt, to humiliate, and to humble. Words can do all of those things. Is how you allow your mind to play it out. Powerful people, positive, beautiful words, people. It can heal and it can uplift. So listen, when spoken with truth, your words have the ability to change lives. Now, it's it, it going to start with you. It's going to change your life first. But those words, when you start thinking positively, it has the ability to change lives outside of your life. It can change other lives as well. So let me tell you, think about how you communicate. And a lot of times we don't get thought, as I said. We just shoot off our mouth. The moment that we're upset, we're frustrated, we're angry, we're bitter, we think that somebody has done something wrong, we're going to go back and we're going to get them. Now, people, think about how you communicate. Because your words can encourage people to achieve greatness. Your words can support. And your words can heal somebody's suffering. You ever thought about that? Your words, people, it can nurture, it can nourish, and it also can inspire people, it can empower people, it can influence people in a whole lot better way. But then people, let me say, on the other hand, though, your words, you get closer, you can hear this. Your words can steal, kill, and destroy not just your life, but lives of so many other people. Now listen, sadly, emotions like hatred, emotions like fear, anger, frustration, and resentment, it can be expressed and fueled, my people, by words. By those words that you say, that you just loosely let roll off your lips. Never giving thought that those words can damage and hurt someone, to kill someone, to destroy someone, to cause someone to suffer. Listen, whether words though, whether they are written words or whether they are spoken words, they have the power to break. They have the power also to destroy healthy environments as well as relationships. And a lot of relationships has been destroyed, damaged. Because words. And what's those words sent out? 
can't come back. People had that crazy saying, sticks and stones can break my world, can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. That's a lie. Go tell the people who said that, who made that up. That's a lie. Words can destroy you if those words are negative, harmful, hurtful, deceitful. They can hurt for the rest of your life. You don't know how to let go and give it over to the creator God. That's a lie, people. Words can kill you. Those bad words that you throw out just loosely to people. But it is better to always speak your truth. And to speak your truth positively, people. But we must be mindful now. Very mindful about what we say. How we say it. We have to. Because you're not just sitting there. I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to get it off my chest. And I don't care how you feel. I don't care how it hurts someone. I'm going to tell, tell them how I feel. People, be mindful about what you say and how you say it. Because you could damage someone's life for the rest of their life. Your words, people, it can change everything. Be a life changer. Be a life changer for the best. Be a life changer. Your words can change everything. Choose your words wisely. Choose your words positively. Choose your words with love. Choose your words with geniality to help someone to become their best and better self. Choose your words just like the words that the Creator placed within your heart. Listen, people, let's make a commitment. Come on. That's a, that, that's a commitment, okay? We are making commitment to quit that negative Self-talk. Y'all suggesting what did you just say? Come on, join me. Let's lock together. We're making a commitment to quit that negative self-talk. Are you with me? Okay, we're in this together, okay? Just like any people toxic bad behavior, you can decide to stop that type of of behavior. The choice is yours. The Bible tells us choose. Choose you. This thing. What a home you serve. Choose you want to you want to side you'll side up with the enemy and use those bad bad words or side up with your ego and put out those bad behaviors and patterns. Choose. Or you can agree and walk along with God and use his powerful words to encourage, to motivate, to inspire someone to become their best and better self. You have the power to choose that. You can stop those bad behaviors, my people. You got the power within you. It may take a time though. Like I said, like I said, it's a process. It's a process and it may take time. And most of the time, it's gonna take time. It took me many, many years. I can't count the years that I lost in my life before I realized what I was doing to myself, how I was damaging my own life as well as I was hurting other people. It took over half of my life away from me. But it took me to a place where I found my destiny. I found who I, who I truly was meant to be on this planet. I found my purpose. I found the God that was within me. That's when I found everything that I needed to know because everything was already inside of me. Everything that he has placed for me to be in this life, in this world, and to be in the place that I need to be, he already put it in me. I did not realize that until I found my destiny, until I found my purpose, until I found my true self, until I found that the God within me, he lives in me. But people have said, whether words are written out, or whether these words are spoken, they have the power, people. They have the power to break and to destroy healthy environments as well as these beautiful and healthy relationships that you can have. So be careful, people. Be very careful. Because like I said, just any little word, words can change anything. So let's make this commitment again to quit these negative self-taught words. Just like any toxic behavior, like I was saying earlier, you can decide to stop it. You got the power within you to stop those behaviors. Now, he said, even though it may take time, 
or, or you may have to perseverance because this is a life-changing thing that you're trying to go through. So it takes time to go through it. We're going to stumble. We're going to fall. We're going we're gonna to get up one day. We're going to be moving forward and think that we got through it. But hey, those days going to come knock your butt back. But you got to get back up and say, I'm better than this. I, I know who I am. I know my purpose. I know the God that's calling me to this greater and higher self. And you got to get back up and perseverance and you got to pay attention, people. Then that will strengthen you to quit the negative self-talk completely. Because for many of us, it has become so deeply ingrained within us. This is what the ego has placed within us. This is how we talk. This is all we know sometimes. This is how we always have lived our lives. But it's not the way the Creator meant for us to live or, or created for us to be, to be an example for other people or even for ourselves, our families, wherever. We're around, we have to be our best self because we got to represent. Not us, we represent the most high. You know what I'm saying? Get that, people. So a lot of these things will have been so deeply ingrained that it is almost, people, a second nature. And once you are aware that you are doing this, <laughs> understand that you will need to keep interrupting yourself. Nope, I didn't mean to say that. And I'm telling you, you need to do this. I used to get going and start on my journey, start moving to more of that positive place in my life. And then I stumble up and I make a word and I was like, boom, and I go fall right into it. And I go right back to my negativity talking ways. But then when I realized that I was on that path to that positivity, now I can immediately pull that thought back out and say, throw it out and say, no. And that's what you got to do. You got to pull those thoughts out those bad negative thoughts and you got to get rid of them you just can't let it go out there float because it go out there floating in the universe the universe is going to send back exactly what you sent out if that thought is negative people you're going to get negative thought back if their thoughts are positive then just say hey blessings on the way for me okay <sighs> so once you're aware that you're doing it people then understand that you will need to, to keep interrupting yourself and your thoughts will stop all together. Like I said, it's a process. It took me many years to get off of that negative avenue, boulevard, that negative street, that negative avenue. Many years, over half the years of my life. That's a long time. But I've learned a lot of lessons on the way. I learned a lot of lessons. So you learn from your lessons and you keep improving, not keep going back and repeating the same mistakes over again or keep repeating the same lessons over again. Keep taking the same tests over again, people. It's time to move forward. When you know to do better, you do better. You learn, you grow, and become your best and better self, people. So we got to learn how to pull those thoughts back and pull those thoughts back. And we got to learn how to throw out those things and got to keep pushing forward, past yawn, all of that. Casting down every thought and imagination that comes to exalt itself against what God has said. And we can stop those thoughts all together. Becoming aware of this behavior, this negative behavior, is the key to quitting. Becoming consciously aware. Of what is coming out your mouth. And sometimes before it comes up, before it gets out of your mouth, you realize, oh, that's a thought. I'm not going to let that one go out there. I'm not sending it out there. And you pull it back and then you cast down every thought and imagination. You cast that stuff down. You don't let it dwell in you. You throw it down and you replace it with the positivity, his words, the creator's words. But becoming aware, consciously aware of of that type of behavior, of that type of negativity, of those type of negative vibes and negative energy. That is the key to quitting, my people. Positive words, people, I'm telling you, they are good for your health. You want to get healthy, whole, wholesome, healing, complete? Change your words. That's your mindset. Your mindset. That is part of being your whole man, the mind, body, and soul. So, let me tell you this. Positive self-talk. This is what it will do now. This is where you. This is the place you need to get to. You need to get to that place of positive self-talk. Why, Dr. Desson? That's where the Creator wants you. That's where He created for you to be. That's the place that He wants you to live your best self. And why it's important? Because first thing, positive self-talk. It's going to boost your confidence. It's going to improve your mood. 
it will eliminate stress. If you don't want anything else, eliminate the stress, people. Get that off your plate, out of your life. Positive self-talk will also improve your heart, health, and your well-being. And I'm all for that. Can't nobody, can't, I don't think nobody can say, I'm, I'm not for uh, good heart, health, and well-being. We all want that, people. So let's change our negativity, our negative thoughts, our negative energy, our negative behaviors, our negative patterns, being around negative people, whatever it is, we can do it with him. We can do all things through Christ that strengthen us. I'm going to say this. Your mind is like a garden bed. You know, see a flower and you plant this beautiful garden bed. That's how your mind is. So if you plant these powerful and positive seeds, you plant these good and these healthy seeds, then your whole being, everything within you, just like in that flower bed, it's going to flourish. It's going to bloom. And you'll reap a harvest from some things in that bed. But you know what? It's not going to happen unless you choose. Choose you this day, whom or what you're going to serve. But it's your choice. It's your choice if you allow that garden to grow and bloom and flourish your life. Or you can let that garden stay there and just like it kill everything else. Kill it. Over. Drown it with water. Don't give it any sun. Just whatever you want. Don't feed the plants. It's going to die. Anything you don't feed is going to eventually die. So why won't you stop feeding your life with negative words and negative thinking and negative thoughts and, and just let it die? It's your choice. We all have choice. Life is choice-driven, people. So I'm going to ask you this question then. What will you plant, people, in that beautiful garden bed? What will you plant? What will you plant in your mind, people? What will you plant? Ask this question: Will you plant flowers, or will you plant weeds? The choice is yours. Answer that. Well, in this beautiful garden bed, I will plant flowers, or you will plant weeds. Which one are you gonna plant, people? Your words have power. You better believe in your words have power. They're power to kill, to steal, and destroy. Not just your life, but anybody around you that comes around you or anybody that you're around with your negative talking self and sending out this negative energy. Because a lot of people don't, it's not strong in their mind to pull those things back or get away from that. They absorb it in. And you're damaging not just you, but everybody else and everything else around you. Those weak people, those weak minded people that has not been strengthened, that, have, that, that, that do not know how to let go of things. But they absorb it and they take it in. So people, you better use your words wisely. Use your words wisely. Let this mind be in you, which was also in the greater, higher power. And that's what we got to do. We got to use his word. He put his words in us. He put his self within us. So I'm out. I just had to do that. I just had to do that. I just had to do that because that was on my mind. That was on my mind. That was on my thing. I'm going to tell you. If you had been on that negativity street, you had been in those negative boulevards, you had been on that negative whatever you're being on, you better get off of it. It's time to be like Tarzan. You got to reach high. You got to aim for the next branch, the next uh, uh, whatever branch or whatever, next tree limb, and shoot for it. Take your, take your best shot at it and get out there and show them that your words are totally aligned with the words of divine higher power creator God. Your words are aligned with the universe because you are totally and giving yourself over to his way, his way of thinking, his way of doing things. And you're positively, positive energy. Okay? I'm gone and I didn't mean to stay that long, but I just had to come and just shoot off this to you tonight. It was not like, I don't know. It just came away. He, he gave it to me. I'm going to see y'all later. Dr. Destiny is signing out, and she will be back with another video. People, get this. It's time to grow up and start moving it in, 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 in the plans that he has already predestined for us to live. Grow and become the best self, your best version of whom he created you to be. Not making people proud. It's not making yourself proud, but make him proud.
Make the creator God proud of you. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Choose him. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. Choose the choices of the yours. Choose life, death, blessings or curse. Life, death, blessings or curses. He said, the choice is yours. You choose. It's just like that flower bed, that garden, beautiful flower bed. You can either plant flowers in it or you can plant the weeds. You choose. The choice is always yours because life is choice driven. I'm going to see you at the next video. Now I'm going to stay lovely people. Dr. Destiny is signing out this video and we'll see you at the next one. Love you guys.